But before I tell you my story, I want to introduce you to another story about a 12-year-old girl. And her mother found out she had this boyfriend at 15 years old. And the mother didn't like it, so she ran the boy away, right? And her father turned this young girl into a prostitute. And this boyfriend that she loved when she was 15 got out of prison. And he goes back to her and he's devastated because he finds out that his girlfriend is 20 years old and have a son because she's turning dates at the hospital with the head physician at the hospital. So he's jealous and he's heartbroken. So he tells his girlfriend, now that's 20, he's 25, he says, please have me a son. Nine months later, she gives birth to this boy. That boy is a 40-year-old man speaking to you tonight. At seven years old, growing up in this West Texas town, known for football and oil, I had a dream. And I went to my mother and I said, Mama, if it ain't up too much to ask for Christmas, can you give me a football to chase this dream to becoming a football player? So I would run in that apartment complex and I grabbed that football, trying to become my dream. A week later, she said, it's New Year's Eve. I'm going out for the evening. If you boys need anything, go to the neighbor's house. And this day, I had the key. But I leave the door unlocked for my brother and my mother to come home. And I get myself ready for bed. Then I hear footsteps coming down the hallway. And I kind of get excited, right? Because I'm thinking it's my mother coming home or my brother's coming home. But the footsteps that I heard was a man that i never seen before. Then he grabbed me by the head and stabbed me in the neck with a screwdriver. Now this dream is starting to bleed out of my neck. Now he's starting to beat this dream out of me. But my question to everybody in the room, what's beating you out of your dream? Ain't nobody even punching you. Is it you because you don't want to listen to your teachers? Is it you don't want to listen to your coaches? Is it you, you got the job that you always wanted, now you feel like you made it, you don't have to follow the rules? My question is, what's beating you out of your dream? Mostly the things that stand out to me today were the fact that he grew up in a tougher environment, but either way, when he grew up in the tougher environment, he he got stronger from it. He didn't like just give up on life. He kept pushing through and that kind of gives me motivation throughout my life with the things I've dealt with. I'm pushing through things no matter how, how hard it is and like no matter like there's no excuses. How did I do it? How did I not give up from that screwdriver in my neck at the age of seven to being in jail looking at a life sentence at 17? Write this down, put it in your phone. I came with a, with a formula called the Tiki Factor. My name is spelled T-I-K-I. -I. The T stands for total commitment. I had to make a total commitment to my life. The next thing is the I, imagination. I had to learn to live from my imagination and not my history. The K is kinder spirits. The people around you affect you. Depending on who they are and what they do is gonna affect you in that type of way. So the last I is invest in yourself. The Tiki Factor principle, total commitment. Imagination, K, kindred spirits, and the I, invest in yourself. Those are the Tiki Factor principles of life, and if you apply them to your life, you'll win. And you can't win today's game with yesterday's touchdown. I'm the Tiki Factor, that's my time, thank you.